I think it was Silver Soul left this comment. This comment I want to talk about, saying that the pro problem, with me a little problem, is um, that I conflate metaphysics and, and dogmatism, and I do. I, and I admit that there's a real world human interaction level distinction to make there, and because since you know these are like binary terms in a sense, you know, you should either are dogmatic or are metaphysics, but in reality, people are degrees like. How much energy do you devote to, to the, your dogma or being dogmatic? How much energy did you devote to believing your metaphysics, asserting your metaphysics, or actually using it, applying it in a particular problem? So it would be a matter of degrees. And you can be very dogmatic, but not be using that metaphysics much. And you can be very metaphysical and not, not be making it dogmatic much. But I do believe that there is a link. And the reason is metaphysics. Now, sometimes people want to like say, well, I have a metaphysics, but I'll change it, or yeah, metaphysics is judged by reality. Those aren't metaphysics. Those are, you're talking about theories, and you're calling, using the word, the sounds, metaphysics. The meaning of metaphysics, it's this debate, debatable concept here, is, you know, things that are beyond physics. You cannot find evidence for them, and you, yet they're still knowable, so there's some way to deduce them. People like to say, well, there's some logical necessity or something. But whatever it is, there's some way to know these, and yet you can't check them in nature. Which means you can't improve them because they're not based on nature. You know, they're not based on observation. There's no observations to improve them. You know, you can't say, oh, well, I'll get better and better logic. No. If, if you didn't use perfect logic, you didn't find it in the first place. That's not a metaphysic. It, it, if it's metaphysics then it's this a priori truth and if you believe such a thing like that exists then how you what other way is there to believe it other than dogmatically it's true it has to be true it's true for everybody anybody could deduce it it's logically necessary in any frame of reference hello that's dogmatism okay and objectivism those are linked together and their partner is metaphysics in my opinion. But anyway, so yes, I do conflate that. And it's not that on a personality basis, but just because you believe in metaphysics that you're all the negative things we associate with dogma. But just believe in a dogma doesn't mean that either. I mean, some people believe a dogma of right and wrong, you know, a good a bunch of good rules, you know. So it's not automatically bad that either. But there is a negative quality to it. And I do, you know, say that, you know, I don't support that in general, but it's not like it means you demonize an individual. And in that sense, yes, there's some distinction between people that are super emphasizing metaphysics and super being dogmatic. But, that the, but at the core, there's this relationship because if there are metaphysical truths, there is no way to hold them skeptically or relativistically. And the contrary, the contrast, the complement to being skeptical and relativistic is to be non-skeptical, non-relativistic, and believe in objectivity, and ultimately that's what the word dogma means in the technical sense. I mean, and a whole other issue is what the technical term dogma really means to this common natural language uh, use of the term. They're also related, but can be just very distinct on a, like a human level.